Okay, my good friends, Roger Mudfossil University, talking once again about health, and today talking about Donald Trump firing all the people at the Veterans Administration, because they're doing a terrible job. Bad, bad people. Well, all right, let's talk about why these people are injured in the first place. First of all, there's a bunch of wars, which is the most despicable thing in history. Secondly, they don't even understand how to treat these people, and they're being the the, the re the, the possibility of being rehabilitated from these things is being stopped, not helped. And it's not just the VA, and I don't think the VA has much to do with it at all. It's mainstream medicine. I'm going to show you why I make these statements and why I can make these indictments. Okay, Roger Mudfoss University, another absolutely stunning discovery today. I've been working with bacteria and trying to understand the influence of bacteria within your membranes and how it affects your health. And it absolutely affects your health because once your membranes in your gut either leak and it, and it, it, it infects you or the bacteria isn't there to produce the products you need or to create the metals you need or to create the mucus you need to protect you. They, they ha you have to have the right bacteria in the right place at the right time, and they have to be bound into your membranes. And I, this membrane-bound bacteria is so important. And 40 years ago they knew this, and somehow they forgot about it. It's unbelievable. But what, what Andy was uh, sending me was uh, something about traumatic brain injury being healed by hormones. So I look it up and I find out that the, uh, the, the hormones that there's this problem is in the thyroid. So I start looking into these hormones and I find out the hormones uh, are, are the same hormones here. And they're, it's the same as uncovering neuroenteric axis. Now if you go down into here and you start digging through what is missing here, is the same things that would be missing in in certain intestinal problems. Because here's what it says right here. Traumatic brain injury can lead to several physiological complications, including gastrointestinal dysfunction. What it is, is your brain stops communicating to your gut. Your gut loses its bacteria, because somewhere in there it regulates the acids and salts and whatever it does but the bacteria stops working correctly. Once that happens, you get all kinds of infections and they get perforations and bacterial translocations, intestinal permeability, sepsis, system organ failure. And it's because of the bacteria is, has gone bad in your gut. Now, I, can, I, I don't know how to relate this to the brain given those directions. Normally, I go the other way, but I know it's a two-way path. Because I can remember when I used to drink a lot as a kid, man, my head would explode. And it was always between my gut and my head. And I used to say to my wife when I got a little older, I'd say, you know, it's always my head to my brain. They, they, the two of them communicate together. When one's okay, I'm okay with the other one. When one's not good, the other one's not good. It's a, they, they're always tied together. And that just happens to be a fact. And this is what happens in your gut is you, you create all kinds of products for your body. And a couple of these products, one of them is tubulin. Tubulin is, is the, 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 like a, a, a tube that goes right around all of the different fibers in your body that are pathways for electricity. They, they, they're just like insulation. And once that insulation goes, these short out and you could uh, do all kinds of crazy things. And that, that's the tubulin. The other thing is the mucus, and, and that, that's in the mucosal layers. And without that, you can't protect yourself from invasions. It's really as simple as that. And w once you, you lose these different bacterial colonies, you lose these different specific abilities and they are extremely specific and these products are extremely specific and the enzymes the bacteria creates are extremely specific and the products that the bacteria that the enzymes create are extremely specific and the metals that transfer things through your body are extremely specific and the pHs and the different molecular combinations are extremely specific and the thing that starts all that specificity is bacteria. 
bacteria. It's the stuff that lives in you that literally makes you you. It can make you unhappy. It can make you happy. It can make you heavy. It can make you thin. It can make you hungry. It can make you full. It can make you want to eat dirt. I'm serious. Women that are pregnant and need these minerals in their body, your body knows you need them, and they literally want to eat dirt. Look it up. It's called white dirt, eating white dirt, and they do it all around the world, and that is kaolin clays. It contains the, the certain type of chemistry that is specific to making a baby form appears. And even my buddy Jody that we do a lot of research together, I told her about this. She says, oh, no, no, I was pregnant. I didn't want to eat dirt. And I said, well, you know, maybe you had good health. And she says, well, I was healthy. Yeah. And she says, the only thing was I wanted, I, I ended up drinking a, a, a bottle of kale and, uh, of um, kale pectate every week. And that's <laughs> kale pectate is kale and clays and peptin, peptin, pectin pectin, something like that. <laughs> it's kale and clay. She's drinking it every week. She says, I was addicted to it. Now I hate it. So she didn't really want it, but she, is, she her body was saying, this is what you need. So it's, it's the things that you need, but you can't get this bacteria in your body. There's no way that you can, your body can say, go eat a bunch of bacteria. You don't know what to do. You could eat dirt. I mean, dirt is dirt, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I, they say that women do that. You look it up. It absolutely says it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. That you, We really, 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 really need a database of what bacteria is in your, in your body and, and, and what is going to invade them if, if they're not good. Because once you leave that niche open, you're going to get invaded. Now, that, that invader is normally not going to be as nice to you as the one that was supposed to be there. That's when you get sick. That's when you get chronic injuries. That's when you get chronic disease. And that's when you get chronic fatigue syndrome. You don't have any energy. You don't have any anything in there working for you. You have things working against you.